Hello everyone, this is Kate from Everyday Magic Storytelling. I hope you're going to enjoy this next story. So if you're sitting comfortably, it will begin. Once upon a time, in the farmyard, Mummy Hen was very happy. Guess what? She had laid some eggs and the eggs had begun to open one by one. And out of the eggs popped some baby chicks. There was one Mummy Hen was very proud and very happy. Every day she would walk out of the hen house and show the little chickens where they could eat some corn. And she showed them where they could drink some water. And then she told them to follow her back up into the hen house and settle down in the hay and she would cover them with her wings and they would all go to sleep. (laughs) All the little chickens were very good little chickens. The youngest one was called Charlie Chicken. But Charlie Chicken didn't like to sleep. In fact, when all his brothers and sisters were snoozing happily, he was wide awake. I'm not tired, I'm not tired. When Mummy Hen was dozing, all the other chickens were dozing, Charlie Chicken, all by himself, he walked out of the hen house, he went into the farmyard, and he looked out the fence. There was a hole in the fence, and he could see that beyond the farmyard there was a field, a big green field full of lovely grass, I want to go there, said Charlie Chicken. So he raised himself up and he squeezed his head through this hole in the fence and he pulled out one wing and two wings and he jumped into the field. Tweet, 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 tweet. Charlie Chicken was very happy. He never imagined the world was so big. So Charlie Chicken walked and walked and walked and walked and walked out into the big green field all by himself. You know what? Up above him, in the blue sky, there was a very big bird flying round in circles. It was a hawk. And do you know that hawks are always looking out for tiny little creatures on the ground? And that if a hawk sees you, a hawk might try to fly down and round and pick you up in his beak and fly away with you to his nest. Well, Charlie Chicken didn't see that big hawk flapping its wings and flying in circles round and round and down and looking at him. Charlie Chicken was happily walking along. But just around then, Mummy Hen woke up. She counted her chickens. You remember how many there were? Remember ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One little chicken is missing. Where's Charlie Chicken? Where's Charlie? Oh, we don't know, we don't know, we don't know. So the other little chickens, we must look for him, Mummy. So Mummy Hen and the other little chickens, they went out of the hen house and they looked around the farmyard. He wasn't there. And then they looked through the hole in the fence and what did they see? They saw Charlie Chicken in the field all by himself and they saw the hawk flying round in the sky looking down at him. Oh no, said Mummy Hen, Charlie Chicken is in danger. We've got to call to him to come home. So she called and she sang. 
Charlie Chicken run away, run away, run away. Charlie Chicken run away. The hawk is watching you. Hey, don't you know that the hawk is watching you? Hey, don't you know that the hawk is watching you? Charlie Chicken didn't hear his mummy call, didn't hear his mummy sing. So Mummy Hen called the other little chickens and said, Little chickens, everybody, please help me to sing. Flap your little wings. Let's all sing together so Charlie Chicken will hear us. So all the other little chickens, they flapped their wings and they sang along a little bit faster. Charlie Chicken, run away, run away, run away. Charlie Chicken, run away, the hawk is watching you. Hey, don't you know that the hawk is watching you? Hey, don't you know that the hawk is watching you? Well, Charlie Chicken heard the voices of his brothers and sisters and his mummy and he looked in the sky and he saw, oh, the hawk was flying down low and he ran and ran until he found a bucket and he hid under the bucket and he stayed out of the bucket until the hawk flew away. And when the hawk had flown away, Charlie Chicken came out from under the bucket. Tree, 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 tree. Big bird is all gone. I can walk along further now. Do you think he was safe out there all by himself? Well, no, he wasn't. Because let me tell you, not very far away from where he was, there was a fox. And the fox had a wet nose and the fox had grey eyes and the fox had pointy ears and the fox had red fur and the fox had a long straight tail and the fox was licking his lips and the fox was looking out from a hole in the ground and Charlie Chicken didn't see the fox but Mummy Hen, she saw the fox so what do you think she called out? Maybe you can help her sing. Charlie Chicken, run away, run away, run away. Charlie Chicken, run away, the fox is watching you. Hey, don't you know that the fox is watching you? Hey, don't you know that the fox is watching you? But Charlie Chicken didn't hear his mummy singing by herself. So she asked the other little chicks to join in, and I hope you're going to join in too. They flapped their little wings and they sang as best they could. And faster. Charlie Chicken, run away, run away, run away. Charlie Chicken, run away, the fox is watching you. Hey, don't you know that the fox is watching you? Hey, don't you know that the fox is watching you? But he still didn't hear, so they had to sing faster and flap even faster. So they sang again. One, two, three. Charlie Chicken, run away, run away, run away. Charlie Chicken, run away, the fox is watching you. Hey, don't you know that the fox is watching you? Hey, don't you know that the fox is watching you? <gasps> Charlie Chicken looked and he saw, peeping out of the hole, the fox with his wet nose and his grey eyes and his sharp teeth. Charlie Chicken, run, 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 run. And he hid under the bucket. And he stayed hidden under the bucket. For some time. And after a while he peeped out and he saw that the fox had gone away. Ah! <sighs> fox all gone away. I can walk again now. Do you think he's safe out there all by himself? Do you really? But let me tell you, up in a tree there was a meow. You guessed it. A pussycat. A pussycat swinging his tail and licking its lips and looking down. Looking down at Charlie Chicken all by himself. <gasps> Mummy Hen, she looked in the tree, she saw the cat and she called to Charlie Chicken. Charlie Chicken, run away, run away, run away. Charlie Chicken, run away, the cat is watching you. Hey, don't you know that the cat is watching you? Hey, don't you know that the cat is watching you? But Charlie Chicken, of course, didn't hear his mummy sing. It took all his brothers and sisters together to sing out loud and flap their wings. All together they sang. Charlie Chicken, run away, run away, run away. Charlie Chicken, run away, the cat is watching you. Hey, don't you know that the cat is watching you? Hey, don't you know that the cat is watching you? 
Charlie Chicken didn't hear, they had to sing one more time, the last time, together as fast as they could. They flapped their little wings and they all sang. Charlie Chicken, run away, run away, run away. Charlie Chicken, run away, the cat is watching you. Hey, don't you know that the cat is watching you? Hey, don't you know that the cat is watching you? <gasps> Charlie Chicken looked and he saw, he saw the cat in the tree and he saw his mum calling, calling, his brothers and sisters calling through the fence and Charlie Chicken turned and he ran and he ran and he ran and he ran as fast as he could and they were all waiting to help him and catch him and pull him back through the hole in the fence, back into the safety of the farmyard. And Charlie Chicken's mummy, mummy hen, mm, 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 was not Happy Charlie, she said. Charlie Chicken, you must never, ever again go out on your own. You are too little and it's not safe. And Charlie Chicken promised he would never, ever again go off on his own like that. He had learned his lesson. Snip, snap, snout. The story is out. Something you don't know, cluck the little red hen. Red hen. Cockerels know the break of day, they know, they when. know when the sun is arising, lighting up the day. the day. The sun is arising, lighting up the day. I know something you don't know, cluck the little red hen. Red hen. I know. The break of shell, I know when. Chicks will be hatching, breaking out of the egg. Chicks will be hatching, breaking out of the egg. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story. Maybe it's given you lots of ideas. We'd love to hear your ideas. We'd love to see the pictures you might paint or draw as well. So look forward to hearing from you. Bye for now. <laughs>